well, hello again, ladies and gents. I uh, hope you're all doing well in what is a pretty crazy time at the moment. Um, this virus just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. So I hope you're all staying safe, staying indoors, um, and trying to look after loved ones as best you can. And uh, yeah, my thoughts go out to anyone who's uh, lost a family member or is suffering with this terrible virus at the moment. Um, if you are watching in the future, then let's hope that everything is uh, is all breezy again. <laughs> um, just have a quick sip of tea. Uh, what I wanted to do today is do a very, very quick video, um, what, hopefully it'll be quick, um, just on 3D Vista, because I seem to have been having a lot of inquiries coming through from people um, interested in getting the software, using it. Um, some of you may know that I am able to give a discount off, off 3D Vista itself. So I wanted to go through my top 10 favorite features of the software um, and how they can benefit your business really. So uh, yeah, let's roll the intro and get into the top 10 features of 3D Vista. Let's go. When you're choosing a virtual tour software or when I was choosing my virtual tour software, uh, I wanted something that was easy to use. I could get out the box, get to grips with it straight away with little to no training. There is a bit of a learning curve, um, but there is with everything. Um, but another thing that was quite important to me was something that looked nice. Um, and I think that the, the user interface for 3D Vista looks fantastic. Um, you've got everything laid out in front of you really, really easily. Uh, you've got an overview of your tours, the skin, um, they've got panoramas, an overview of the panoramas within the tour. You can have photo albums, videos, 360 videos you can put in there. Uh, floor plans and then you've got all your published section here and you've got subsections under the bottom for each uh, each sort of tab that you that you click on so uh, for me ease of use was uh, was was one of the main reasons why uh, I actually chose 3d Vista and um, yeah let's move on to the next one The ability to add custom hotspots into a virtual tour is very, very important. Um, this example that I've got up here, uh, the client actually wanted just uh, sort of plain doors. They were quite happy with that. Um, but the great thing is, is that if you um, can use Photoshop uh, or Affinity Photo, whichever one you have, you can quite easily uh, create PNG uh, images from pretty much anything. Uh, or you can just go online and find a PNG image that suits uh, suits the tour that you are creating. For example, I did a tour for a vets, um, and they wanted little instead of uh, instead of doors here, um, they wanted to have little paw prints um, going going around the tour. So um, to upload those, all you do simply click on the image button in the top right here, and then click on import my images, and then import the image that you that you want to use. Uh, but if you haven't got any images and you have started using 3D Vista. Uh, quite recently, then they've done pretty much all the work for you. Um, you've got tons and tons of pre-made uh, hotspot images that you can use to navigate around your tour um, to highlight certain areas. So I think this is a really, really, really nice feature to have because it just makes things even easier for you. Um, there are other hotspots that you can do. For example, here I've done a video hotspot, which is done from here and that enables you to uh, embed a video anywhere. Um, I generally tend to do mine on TV screens, uh, but you can do them on the walls, on the floors, on the ceilings, wherever you like. Uh, and then you can also do uh, polygons, so you can trace areas um, where you want people to navigate through. So maybe if I wanted to trace this door, so that can highlight when they hover over it. And then also you can do text as well. So if you wanted to, put, to type some text in, uh, if I just do that very quickly here, There we go and then you can set that as an action to do whatever you like really um, tons and tons of things so yeah this is a really really nice feature to have <coughs> excuse me uh, in in the software let's move on
Animated panoramas is a way to create kind of like a time lapse uh, between uh, multiple panoramas that you've taken within one. So what happens is once you've uploaded the panoramas, it will automatically merge between uh, each of them. Uh, the example that I have here was done for a kitchen design company. So the one on the left here, um, you've got uh, the kitchen before uh, it was, they'd started work on there. So obviously it's all building materials in there and everything. And then after on the right, you've got the finished kitchen. Um, to, do, to add them, you basically just click on add media, import panorama, live panorama, and then upload the images you want. Um, I do find that it's useful to number them. So, so instead of having them as a file name, you have the first one as number one, the second one as number two, the third one as number three, and so on and so on. Uh, but if I click on preview, um, this will just give you an idea of exactly what the live panorama feature looks like. Might have to speed this up a little bit for you. Doesn't take too long, but there we go. No, that's not going to be fine. That's not going to take long at all. And almost done. And here we go. So coming into the kitchen, we've got it all empty. Loads of rubbish everywhere. As I said, I think the more rubbish, the better. And then by magic, there we go. The finished kitchen, which is really nice. So yeah, hope you like that one. And let's move on. Dual Skins is uh, quite a new feature from the 3D Vista Genius Design Team. And what it enables you to do is take uh, viewing a, a virtual tour on a mobile device one step further. Instead of it just being responsive where you, you, know, you, sh you shrink the size of something down and all the elements move um, according to how much you've shrunk it, um, you actually have a completely different skin that displays on mobile devices as, as opposed to desktops. So, um, for example, on here I've got all the, the uh, sort of the information buttons in the bottom left. And if I click on Info Photo, uh, this is in a landscape format to be viewed on a desktop device. But obviously, if you viewed that on a mobile phone, uh, it wouldn't look good at all. It would be tiny. Um, so if I turn that, oh, hang on, if I turn that off, and then click on Mobile you can change the, the sort of the preview screen of the sort of phone that you're looking at. There are some of the newer phones on there, not the most new ones, but I'm sure that the, the, the 3D Vista team will be updating these at some point. Um, and if I open up the info photo on here, then I've done this in a portrait uh, sort of layout, which looks a lot, a lot better on mobile phone screens. So uh, it just gives you the peace of mind that if someone is viewing your tour, tour on a mobile device, uh, or a tablet, I think they've got tablets on here as well. Yeah, here we go, iPad Pro, um, and then iPad Air Mini. Uh, it's just gonna give you the peace of mind that they're, uh, they're gonna be viewing it and they can, they can click and see everything correctly. Uh, another great feature that they've got is that they've uh, got here landscape mode on mobile. So uh, if you turn it into landscape mode, obviously you're going back into landscape, which is similar to desktop. So you can say, right, what I want to do on landscape mode on mobile is I want them to see the general view um, because that will work better. Uh, you can choose mobile if you wanted to, but it depends how you've, uh, how you've designed your skin. So yeah, absolutely fantastic feature right there. Three D transitions is uh, something that, over the last year or so, um, has become more and more popular. And I think one of the reasons for that is down to Matterport. Um, Matterport is is a huge company. Uh, I have personally looked into it before, uh, but I found it far too expensive. Uh, the equipment is very, very expensive as well. Uh, and when I looked at it, I think they have changed this now. It was it was quite limited um, when you were shooting outdoors. But uh, one thing that I did love was the, the transition effects between, between different images. Um, so on here, uh, what you can do, if I go on to one of these images here, and then click on hotspots, 
Go over to this one here. And you can basically say smart entry view dynamic. So what that will do is it will basically put you into the next image, uh, how you will be facing if you were to actually be walking through the building itself and it will zoom through that for you. So uh, what I will do is I'll preview this <clears throat> and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at how the transitions actually look. Here we go. So coming into this veterinary practice, I'll click on the floor here. There we go. So that zooms through into there. And then consulting room into there. Okay. So there we go. And then if I zoom down this towards this area here, nice smooth transitions going through the tour. So yeah, that's uh, another way to make your tours look nice and professional. The ability to add branding to your tours is, uh, is very, very important. And it kind of links in with some other areas um, that I've already covered and may be covering in a second. Um, but for clients to be able to have their own brand uh, within the skin, um, like this, this image that you can put up in the top left-hand corner, uh, is, is really, really great. And also, um, being able to put the, the branding for yourself within the tour is important. So if I click on this image here, uh, the way I do that is through caps. Um, so you can actually add a cap to the bottom of the floor or in the ceiling if you wanted to. Um, and you can change the size of the cap. And basically I just put a, a, a see-through PNG image. So it's not too uh, you know, intrusive uh, for the viewer. Uh, but if I just show you how that looks on here on the preview tour. So you've got the branding on the, on the launch screen there. And then the branding for the client in the top left. And then on the floor, there we go. I've got my brand as well. So I'm just going to mute that. So it's uh, yeah, that's it's a it's a great way to uh, to be able to sort of you know advertise your business within a tour, but also make sure that the uh, that the branding is stuck to for the client as well. Uh, you can also put in uh, extra things like uh, you know social media links. So these go off to their their own social media pages and a link to their page here to book a session for this particular recording studio that I did a tour for. So yeah. Let's move on. The ability to publish your tours in many, many different ways is really, really useful. And the way that you can do that using 3D Vista is by clicking on the Publish tab in the bottom right-hand corner, you are presented with a number of different options. Now, the first one, Publishing for Web at Stroke Mobile, is, <clears throat> excuse me, is basically a way for you to um, export the files for you to use within your own hosting server um, uh, or if your client doesn't want you to host the tours for them uh, under your domain then you can basically send them the files for them to use on their own uh, their own FTP server for their website and the second option is the 3D Vista hosting service uh, I don't use this myself because uh, I have the I have the tours hosted within my own website, um, but it's a really 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 great uh, service to have. Um, when you sign up with 3D Vista, um, if you do that with me through my uh, my discount link, and if you want that, just click on the link in the uh, description below. Um, you get three months free hosting uh, with 3D Vista, and it's a great way to to sort of you know get everything up and running, get to grips with it. Um, and then if you're happy carrying on like that, then, then they do some really, really good deals for hosting um, your own tours directly through them. Um, the second, uh, sorry, the third option uh, is a standalone player. So what this will do is it will basically export your tour as, uh, as an EXE file um, for Windows or a, I can't remember what the Mac version is, uh, but basically something that you can put onto a USB stick or a, um, a VR headset so you can actually view the tour offline through there. Um, the fourth option is the ability to export to Facebook and YouTube. Now, I haven't actually used this to export to Facebook before, 
um, but I have used it to export my 360 to YouTube. And what that does is it basically creates a 360 degree video that you can upload to YouTube. So again, that's something that quite a lot of my clients uh, are very, very interested in. Um, and then the final option um, is probably the, the second most uh, used one, which is uh, the Google Street View. So if I just untick these, and then click on edit tour. What this does is it enables you to actually upload your tour directly to Google Street View uh, instead of using their app on their phone. Obviously they got rid of their desktop app a long time ago and editing tours on the phone is an absolute nightmare. Um, and I know there have been a few issues with, uh, with Google Street View recently, um, but I think, I'm not sure whether they're all fixed, but all of mine seem to be working okay. Uh, so all you do is you basically just click on the image and then click place on map and then you connect them all together uh, and you can uh, you can view them all from there. So so yeah, the publishing options that you get within uh, within 3D Vista are absolutely brilliant. And again, it just uh, just gives you a lot of versatility to uh, to offer your clients. Recently, 3D Vista have introduced an update uh, in the way that you can basically show and hide different components. Um, previously, you were able to do it just simply on a, a skin basis, so you can show and hide things on the skin. Um, but now what you can do is you can basically activate that on different panoramas. Um, and I'll show you the way that I use that that I find really useful. Starting on the skin side of things, what I've done is I've basically added an image here um to show instructions on how to navigate around the tour now that image is different uh, on mobile and pc so here i've got mobile instructions so that says swipe the screen to look around and pinch to zoom in and out these images were created on photoshop um, so as i mentioned earlier on photoshop is going to be a, a, a good friend to you when you're using uh, 3d vista uh, there are loads of tutorials online on how to create uh, png images um, but if I just show you that, so I've placed that image there and I've named it Navigation PC. Now, if I go to Panoramas and open up the first one, uh, what I've done here is you've got a little section here that says Panorama Actions. So I've added an action to show and hide this section here. So when you come into the panorama, you want to show it and then the effects, um, you can basically hide it and then you can say, right, I want it to return to its original state after a certain amount of time. You can choose whether you want it to fade in or slide in and, and how long that takes to happen um, and things like that. So, yeah, that's a really, really, really fantastic feature to have uh, within, uh, with, within the software. And the potential is absolutely massive of what you can do with that. So, you know, you could navigate to... Uh, another another image and you can have maybe directions showing up or um, a, a product that that they might sell or something like that so um, yeah it's a really really nice feature to have right there and let's crack on with the next one live panoramas is another absolutely incredible feature um, that, that uh, the 3d vista team have uh, put in place now uh, what it enables you to do is actually embed a video within the tour um to bring it to life even more uh, i haven't used it yet on any of my tours uh, it's something that i've been uh, i've been learning how to do there is a little bit of a workflow involved and you will need to have uh, more software uh, to do it uh, specifically after effects uh, but i think from looking at the tutorial videos that uh, that 3d vista have put online uh, once you've got to grips with it initially initially um, it's pretty 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 straightforward to do but this is the result that you get. So if you if I click unmute it quickly, click on this chap here. There we go. So you've got your 360 tour with the video embedded inside it. So the potential of this, as you can see, is 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 fantastic. Um, I mean, I really want to once uh, once things are back up and running again, I really want to try and uh, try and get some of these in place. So um, yeah, I think you'd agree that's pretty uh, pretty amazing. Last but not least, um, is I want to cover the cost of 3D Vista now. I have had a few people message me and I've seen comments in, in Facebook groups and 
other places saying, oh, you know, 3D Vista is really, really expensive and everything like that. And it, you're right, it's not cheap. Um, however, there is no monthly cost. So once you've paid for it, it's yours forever. Uh, I personally, uh, when I first started with 3D Vista, uh, saw it was where if I did two jobs or three jobs, then I would have paid for it. And then everything else from, from there onwards is, is pure profit. Um, I actually managed to pay for 3D Vista within my first job, which I was very, very, very happy with. And so, I mean, if I go to uh, Virtual Tour Pro here, uh, it's 499 euros. And um, as mentioned previously, I am able to offer a discount on that of 50 euros. So if you are interested in 3D Vista, then click on the link below um, and just fill out your details and, uh, and I'll be able to send you over a link uh, that can be converted into dollars if you are in the US. Um, and, but the other thing is, is you can download a trial. So if you wanted to try out, try it out, see what you think, uh, get to grips with some of the features and just, just to, you know, throw some of your own 360 photos in there and have a play around, then go for it. Download the trial um, and then feel free to, uh, to send me an email if you've got any questions about it. And um, yeah, as I say, value for money wise, if you take, uh, you know, a, a, a virtual tour software that charges a monthly, monthly fee and, uh, you know, one of the SaaS ones and you spread that monthly fee over a course of a year or two years or even longer, then it gets to be a lot more expensive um, than, uh, than what 3D Vista's price is. So uh, value for money, uh, I see it as being extremely good, even though on face value, you know, 500 euros or 450, however, <laughs> however you look at it. Um, yeah, it does sound quite expensive, but if you look at the big picture and what you're getting with the software, um, it's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So um, yeah, give it a try, uh, see what you think. And if I can help in any way, then do please let me know. So I um, hope that was useful, uh, interesting. And I think you can see that the, the software itself has got a lot to offer. Uh, it is incredibly easy to use. That's the, the key thing that I can, I can tell you guys. Uh, I've used a lot of softwares in the past. Um, Palo 2 VR is very, very good. Uh, but I found that I had to le learn all the sorts of coding and God knows what. And it was just taking me ages and ages to learn. And I didn't have the time. Um, so that's why I opted to use 3D Vista because it's just so adaptable and you can, you can create some really incredible looking tools through it. Um, and now they have the 3D Vista marketplace, which is an absolute godsend. Uh, it's a great, great idea by the company because it allows people to create their own, uh, their own skins, uh, their own buttons, all sorts of stuff, uh, send it over to them. They'll check that it's all okay and then upload it onto the marketplace for people to purchase, which is, which is brilliant because it sort of brings the, the 3D Vista community as we are together. So, um, so yeah, thank you very, very much for your time. And um, yeah, again, stay safe and I will speak to you all again soon. Take care, bye.